Diphthongs are vowels that undergo considerable change of quality during pronunciation. Let us illustrate the articulation of a diphthong. Here is the diphthong ow. 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 Its starting point is a, ah, and then we gradually glide into u. So diphthongs consist of an onset, that is the first element of a diphthong, and an offset, the final element. Both onset and offset are linked by a glide. Diphthongs can be classified in several ways. The most popular one uses the cardinal vowel chart and defines diphthongs on the basis of the direction of their glides as upgliding or closing, where the onset is lower than the offset, as downgliding or opening, where the onset is higher than the offset, and as ingliding or centering, where the offset is a central vowel. Here are some examples. Au can be classified as an upgliding diphthong, Ia is downgliding, and Er is ingliding. Additionally, we can specify diphthongs further using the position of the offset, that is, front or back, as a reference point. So, au would then be back upgliding, and ia front downgliding. By the way, never forget the word diphthong exhibits the letter H twice.